This one got popped dead center right in the front. I have a Chevy Equinox here. This one got popped dead center right in the front. It destroyed all the cooling system and everything. It's gonna get both of these new frame rail end plates. And I have a new reinforcement bar here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these off. And I gotta do a little repair on the end of the rail and then I'll do some, I'll have to do some measurements. I'll get my measuring system out, do some measurements and get my new ones fit up and weld it on. Always wanna make sure you cover any hose openings or anything like this whenever before you start grinding or sanding so you don't get metal shavings in the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple light pulls on these brackets here in order to straighten out these brackets before I start fitting up my end caps. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my measuring system underneath this one and I'll measure these end plates and frame rails. Make sure I have them sitting exactly where I want them. In order to match the measuring, measuring system to the car, I have to go to five undamaged points in the center section of the car and it shows me, there's a bunch of different attachments and it shows me which ones to use depending on which point I go to. So I'm going to go ahead and match the measuring system to the vehicle. This will be my first point right here. This will be number two. And now I have three more. The same two points on this side. And then I'll pick one random fifth point. Four. This one will be number five. There it is. Now the measuring system knows exactly where the car is sitting. Obviously the car can't move. 
but I could come up here to the front and make some measurements. So I made some measurements. It turns out this frame rail is perfect, exactly where it's supposed to be. This one is pushed over about six millimeters, not a lot. I need to tweak this frame rail over just a little bit. So I put a couple clamps underneath the car and I'm gonna see how to get a grip on it. And I'm gonna try to tweak this frame rail over just a few millimeters. See what that did. I'm gonna try to get a couple more millimeters out of this and it'll be in good shape. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna check a few more points and then I'll, I'm gonna measure these end brackets. I'll have to shift those around a little bit. So this is measuring out perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and hold my reinforcement bar up here just to do one more check. Looks like it lines up perfect. So I'm ready to go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and weld both of these plates on.